Kylie, yeah. Brianna, Giovanni, Bryson. Bryson. I got gotcha. you. Good job, Ben. And freeze. <laughs> now let's think about this. When you say freeze, should there be moving? No. Should there be talking? No. no. So we're going to practice that again because I don't like it. Keep walking. So my objective for the first couple weeks is to really go over my expectations and make sure the students understand what I want them to be doing. My expectations are listen, try your best, and be kind. And then I always tell the students, if they do those well, then we will have fun. And that's my fourth expectation. I'm going to be kind with my big heart. If I do that, we're going to have fun. So stand up. We're going to do that one more time. I can be successful. I can be successful. Here's how. Here's how. I'm going to listen. I'm going to listen. With my big ears. So I'm going to try for the first couple days and just in general, I believe that students learn best by doing it. So I try to have the activities mirror what the expectation is. And you can only listen for so long and then you tune out. So I figure the best way to do it, give short little snips of what I want them to do, show them what it looks like, and then reinforce it. Say it with me, your hoops are no longer regular hoops. They are spaceships. When you're flying a spaceship in outer space, can you get close to other spaceships? So for the spaceship activity, when they were moving around with the hula hoops, I was really reinforcing the listening because they had to move the hula hoops to different levels. But on a movement perspective, we were working on personal space, which is a, a big PE objective throughout the year. We want to make sure students are moving safely and not bumping into their friends. Perfect, go. Put water by the trees and walk on the outside of the cone. Awesome job. Put water on the trees and walk on the outside. Yes. And jog. It's not a race. We're just warming up our heart. Jog. The second week, I was definitely working on expectations. I came out. We still had our PE buddy poster. Um, I went over my expectations. And then every game that we played reinforced those expectations. And when I saw something I didn't like, we stopped and had the students do it over until, until it was great. And swim the open seas. You are swimming in your own space. And freeze. I'm sorry I had to stop you so quickly, but I saw some crazy fins. Is that safe? No. no, that's going to hurt somebody. I think it's just important when you're planning a lesson to start with the why. And for me, my expectations were the why. I wanted them to know how to listen, how to try their best and how to be kind. And then I planned the games around that. I love the communication over here. The more I spend at the beginning of the year, the, the more it pays off in the long run. And for elementary PE, I see these kids usually kindergarten through sixth grade. And if I spend a lot of time in the early years, it pays off so that I can do great things you know, when, they, when they are older. So I usually spend about a month, two months, uh, going over just teamwork, being kind, listening, and then I sprinkle it into every other lesson that I do. Yeah, and then those three were amazing. Yay, so. awesome. Okay. okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, come on in. All right, have a great week. See you later.